So after making my video about Scumbag Steve back in September, I knew eventually I would need to make a video talking about the meme that serves as its ideological counter. The yin to the yang, if you will. It's time we talk about Good Guy Greg. Good Guy Greg is an advice animal image macro which became massively popular on 4chan and Reddit in 2011. The meme template itself features this friendly looking, collar popping, joint smoking man likely in his 20s smiling. The way the Good Guy Greg meme works is very similar to how Scumbag Steve works, but this time the top and bottom text details good or helpful acts rather than degenerate ones. So where Scumbag Steve looked like he would steal your iPod if given the opportunity, Good Guy Greg looks like if you called him up he would give your car battery a jump if it died. Now like Scumbag Steve, Good Guy Greg is a meme which is based off of a photo from a real life guy, and that raises the question, who is he? Well, this is one of those rare cases where the identity of a living meme is truly shrouded in mystery. Many people have laid claim to being the man behind the good guy Greg image, with only a few people being accepted as plausible matches. Today I want to take a look back at how the good guy Greg meme started, and also take a look at these so-called good guy Gregs that have laid claim to the identity over the years. Real quick, want to shout out The Ridge for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. The Ridge, also known as the best wallet company in the game, makes these metallic wallets that go in your front pocket. On their website, you'll see you've got plenty of colors and metals to pick from. I use the aluminum gun metal, but maybe you're more of a burnt titanium guy. I don't know. I've got a 10% off link for you guys to use in the description box. That's ridge.com slash surf. And not only will you save 10% off when you put in code surf, it includes free worldwide shipping. So check that out and let's begin with the story. So let's lay the foundation. In early 2011, advice animal image macro memes were becoming increasingly popular thanks to the efforts of 4chan and Reddit. Now Reddit usually gets a lot of the credit when it comes to the spread of these memes, but really it was 4chan responsible for most of the classics. Around this time, there was a rather frenzied group of 4chan users obsessed with the proliferation and development of advice animals. You had thousands of b-tards every day scouring the internet for funny or bizarre photos trying to become the creator of the next big meme template that would be admitted into the advice animal pantheon. With that said, enter our joint smoking fella here. So it's not exactly known when this photo was uploaded to the internet, but it found its way into the B meme machine sometime in the spring of 2011. For some time, the meme would remain nameless with the community being hopeful that it would blow up if a clever name or joke could be ascribed to it. Eventually, it would be given a name that stuck as on April 26, some guy named Ambrain took the photo from B and uploaded it to a now defunct image remixing website called Canvas. The caption he assigned to this photo essentially named the picture Good Guy Greg. It reads as follows. This I, Good Guy Greg. This name ended up being pretty popular over on 4chan. The Good Guy Greg name worked not only because it fit the demeanor displayed by the man in the photo, but it also sort of worked as an antithesis to the already massively popular Scumbag Steve meme which began its spread earlier that year in January. A few weeks after Amrain's post on Canvas, the first Good Guy Greg image macro would go viral after it was shared to the Advice Animal subreddit. While the concept behind Good Guy Greg very much borrowed from an already established meme template popular over on our trees called Generous Jeff, the Greg image was unique enough to stand out and it quickly became the dominant wholesome advice animal meme on Reddit and on the internet in general. Good Guy Greg would remain a dominant advice animal staple for years, similarly to his more nefarious counterpart Scumbag Steve. Speaking of whom, you likely know if you're a subscriber of mine that a man named Blake Boston would eventually come out and confirm that he was the guy in the Scumbag Steve picture. This led to a year of Blake Boston fighting against the meme with him eventually accepting it and using it to turn a small profit with a string of music videos and venue appearances. This was one of the first heavily documented examples of how becoming a living meme affected someone's life. If you're interested in that story, click the card above. Now with that said, has anyone ever come out and claimed personhood of good guy Greg? Well, yes, in fact, many times, but are any of these claims really legitimate? Mm, it's questionable. In fact, there have been so many Good Guy Greg imposters throughout the years that it has made it rather difficult to really believe anyone. 
but there have been two that many believe to be legit, and I reckon I'll discuss those now and come to my conclusions as if I think that they're real or not. Greg number one, Alaskan Greg. The first notable good guy Greg identity claim came on August 10th of 2011 when a Redditor named Fishy Man submitted a thread to RAMA claiming to have worked with good guy Greg on a commercial fishing boat. This post convinced a lot of Redditors that Greg had been found. Reddit, I passed the six week challenge and crewed alongside good guy Greg. There's actually two guys that are going to answer your questions, but we're sharing this account. We spent the last six weeks crewing on a commercial fishing boat in Bristol Bay, Alaska. We spent all of that time out on the water, fishing or delivering our fish to larger boats to be taken to the processor. Bristol Bay is the largest wild salmon run in the world, providing the fish for most seafood restaurants. This year we caught over 140,000 pounds of salmon. Here's the image of the Redditors who posted this, and here are some of the pictures of the guy that they claim to be good guy Greg. So yeah, there's a lot to talk about here, but let's discuss the more convincing elements first. During these descriptions, I'm going to be referring to the classic good guy Greg image as iconic Greg. Got it? Admittedly, the general facial structure is similar and the eyebrows are pretty much the same color, symmetry, and thickness. But apart from that and the smile looking somewhat similar, I'm not buying this. First off, the hair color is off. Iconic good guy Greg is more of a blonde, dirty blonde where Alaskan Greg's hair is about as dark brown as it gets, almost appearing as if he has black hair in certain lighting. Furthermore, compare the hairlines. Iconic Greg's hairline goes almost as far back as the top of his skull with empty patches to each side, while Alaskan Greg has a full head of voluptuous curly hair and a stable hairline. You could argue that iconic Greg is just a more recent photo and perhaps his hairline receded in a ridiculously short period of time, but that doesn't make any sense because the Alaskan boat trip photo was from a couple of months before the AMA was posted, thus would make the Alaskan Greg photo more recent. In addition, Alaskan Greg seems older with far more aging lines visible in the smile and face in general. Iconic Greg has a broader bridge to his nose and larger nares. The eyes. Iconic Greg has brown eyes and while difficult to make out, it seems as though Alaskan Greg has either blue or green eyes. Now the name of Alaskan Greg was never revealed by these guys in the Reddit AMA, but despite the inconsistencies here, many of the commenters seem to think that this was a legit claim. In reality though, I think this was just a hoax perpetrated by these two kids to farm some of that epic reddit karma by posting an image of their cousin and saying it was good guy Greg. I'm not buying this one. Alaskan Greg is busted. Greg number two. Anon Greg. The second most famous attempt to claim personhood of good guy Greg comes from a thread posted by an anonymous 4chan user on January 11th of 2012. The post starts off with Anon claiming IRL good guy Greg here, ask me anything. And this is the picture he provided. Alright, well this guy definitely nails the iconic good guy Greg pose a little harder than Alaskan did, but I have my doubts. Let's take a closer look. Again we have a vaguely similar facial structure, looks like this time the hairline actually matches up and the eyebrows match, but that's about as far as similarities go. Honestly, I feel like this claim is actually easier to debunk than the last. I say this because there are some pretty damning physical inconsistencies that are only made more obvious due to the fact that Anon Greg went out of his way to pose exactly like Iconic Greg, so the differences really stand out. First off, the hair color is off. Anon Greg's hair is almost black, where Iconic Greg is a dirty blonde like we established before. Anon Greg's nose seems to be a bit shorter than Iconic Greg's, I don't know, perhaps stubbier is the word. They both have some big ass nostrils though. Okay, but really the biggest thing that sticks out between these two images and tells me that it's not the same person is the difference in ear structure. It's just not the same ear. Anon Greg has a pointier ear with a more prominent anti-helix, where Iconic Greg has more of a squarish ear shape and a very subtle, almost unnoticeable anti-helix. While this post was supposed to be an AMA, Anon Greg barely responded to any of the comments or criticisms lobbed by the users of 4chan. After multiple requests, he did eventually post another picture of himself with a timestamp, but like the first photo, it had many inconsistencies with the image of Iconic Greg. There were some commenters on this thread that thought it was legit, but there was also a large portion that were skeptical, and I gotta say, I'm with the skeptics on this one. I think we can say Anon Greg is busted as well. So that was my analysis of the two most famous claims to personhood of good guy Greg, and I think it's safe to say that they're fraudulent. The real good guy Greg remains unknown.
So wrapping things up here, it's crazy to think that after almost 10 years of memehood, we still have no idea who good guy Greg really is. We don't know when the photo was taken, we don't know the backstory of what was going on in the photo, we don't know what strain of kush Greg was burning in it, we literally know nothing. And I gotta say guys, I'm honestly kinda sad about this. Like out of all the memes in the advice animal pantheon, I feel like good guy Greg has the most demand for people wanting to know the story behind him or what he's like in real life. Like wouldn't it be crazy if he was actually some sort of degenerate in real life, but it would also be dope if he was just as cool as the meme makes him seem. Maybe the fact that he's smoking a joint in the photo has made him reluctant to claim ownership of the meme. Like yeah, it's legal in a lot of places now, but perhaps he felt as though it could affect employment options or something if it was connected to him. I don't know, but it's likely at this point that we'll never really know the story of this guy. I hope I didn't blue ball you guys too much with this video, but sometimes I feel like not knowing the story is almost a story in and of itself. It's truly remarkable how little we know about this guy. Well anyways guys, drop a comment below and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. Major shoutouts to my patrons, I appreciate you guys, wavy web surf out, peace.